We have been waiting for this modification for a long time. It's just arrived today. I've had to do so much research to get this done. Let's get on with it because today I'm going to try and fit them. So I've wanted sidebars to put on the van for quite a long time. But the thing is, because it's like a, a new Volkswagen Crafter, there isn't like things that are like available that are easy to like, you know, find and things. Now I've been doing a lot of research for a long time. And one of the things is I couldn't find any information online about like how to like fit these if you get them because obviously when you've got like diesel heaters and sort of like water tanks and things like that, obviously they fit with brackets and stuff, but there's no information out there whatsoever if they can still fit. It's cold today as well, so but it's dry, so let's see if we can get these fitted. So the instructions, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and figure out like what side these brackets go on and everything, get them lined up and then hopefully we'll be able to get them fitted then. So these brackets, they're supposed to have numbers on them and some of them do and some of them don't and basically I'm going to have to figure this out myself because obviously the numbers on the brackets are supposed to tell you what position that they're going in, not all of them have them on so got the brackets lined up where they're supposed to go I'm just going to see if we can start bolting them in just leave them on loose and everything now it does say on here it's supposed to take 45 minutes to do this we'll see Just as I expected, this is not going smoothly whatsoever. When they go in the holes and things, they don't actually sort of like fit. So what I'm gonna have to do with this one now, I'm gonna have to saw a bit of it off to try and get it in, so. So if we have a quick look here. So we've got this bit here, and this is supposed to fit in there. And it just it doesn't go in because it's it's too long so so like I said I'm gonna have to saw a bit of it off I've cut that off and it still doesn't fit so I'm gonna come back to that one after because it's so cold trying to saw it here but I'm gonna see if I can get this side done now so let's get this opened So the way that these attach onto here is we've got these little bolts here and what they do is they're going to slide in here to show you in a minute and then obviously they attach onto here so if you just get this one on here first as you can see they go in there slide up so with a lot of messing about i have got that bracket to fit now and yeah, I shouldn't have had to have done that, but that's just the way it is if I wanted to get it done. So I've had to do that and it, at least that bit's done now. The weather's changed now, so uh, I'm not going to be able to actually put the running boards on because that's something that, you know, obviously I want to do that when it's not snowing because obviously I don't want to be messing about whilst it's snowing trying to get that on. Okay, so it's not snowing now and I couldn't help myself. I just came out and I just decided that, even though the weather ain't great, I just decided that I wanted to get these on because like I said, I've got the brackets fitted and everything now. And all it is is a case of just sort of like putting them in and tightening the bolts up. Now, the bolts that attach onto the bottom of this, um, it's obviously it's a lot of fiddling about and things like that, but I managed to get it done and yeah, I'm pleased with them. A little bit fiddly uh, fitting these, I have to say. The 45 minutes that it says it takes, nah, it's took me a good, 
probably about three hours all together to get it done but a lot of that time was obviously messing about trying to get that bracket to well the bolt that goes in to fit because it wasn't right so it needed to be a lot smaller and like I said a lot of messing about and obviously you seen I had to get that little bit to take it off I did manage to get it fitted so but yeah I'm pleased with them so uh, it's a lot of messing about if you are going to get something like this like I said just be wary that you might have to do some like messing about so it's a few days later and I've just got a few things to do because we've just come back from our winter Scotland road trip and the thing is we're actually going to Cornwall soon and just need to get a few things like ready for the van, take some things out that we don't need to take with us. With these steps that were fitted it's worth mentioning that if it's something that you're thinking about doing you need to do some research because like I said there's no information out there about like obviously if you've got things like you know diesel heaters fitted, if you have any water tanks fitted, obviously some vehicles have like AdBlue systems fitted and things like that as well. Now the thing is the brackets on most of the side bars that you can get are probably like designed to like fit around things like this but not all diesel heaters and the water tanks are going to be fitted in the same place so it's quite difficult to find that information out as like where they will go in things and you know so you do need to like do some research. Now the main thing that I was worried about was the fact that obviously we've got our diesel heater and I knew that the bracket that was going to go sort of like near there was right next to the diesel heater and I was worried because obviously we've got like the exhaust of a diesel heater, we've got the pipe of the diesel heater and obviously where the actual heater is fitted I was worried that like the bracket sort of like might not fit or it might be you know the diesel heater might be sort of like exactly where the bracket needs to go now as it turns out the actual bracket where the diesel heater is it goes over it so for us that's okay but like I said, if you are thinking about getting something like this, do your research and find out sort of like where the brackets might go. In. Now, speaking of diesel heaters, we've not run our diesel heater for quite a while now. If you have got a diesel heater, a little tip for you. It's a good idea to run them at least once a month, even in summer and things, because it can build up sort of like deposits, you know, in the diesel heater. And if you just leave it, it can cause problems with your diesel heater. So whilst we was in Scotland, we didn't really use our heater a lot. And with the times that we was at campsites and things, you know, we was using like heaters, you know, by using an electric hookup. So, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run the diesel heater for a little bit and I think I might have to put some fuel in the van as well. Let's get ready for Cornwall. Until the next one, thanks for watching, bye for now.